Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jillian Berry. This is my beautiful daughter, May. Hi. And today I'm doing a what I eat in a day video. I haven't done one in a while, so I am so excited. I know you guys keep asking me for them and I love doing them. And this is actually a 40th birthday edition. So I'm so excited, thank you. Today we are celebrating my 40th birthday. I feel amazing, you guys, and I really attribute that to the raw living foods. I have more energy at 40 than I did at 20, and I feel like my whole life is ahead of me. I can't wait to see where I'm at at 80, 90, and 100. I interview so many raw vegans in their 80s and 90s, and you guys, they are just kicking it. They're doing so many interviews, vlogs, their schedules are packed, and I can't wait to be just like that. But I'm gonna enjoy this age, and I can't wait to take you guys along my day. I am actually going dining out tonight, and so many of my family and friends are going, and they are not raw vegan. So I'm gonna show you how I socialize and dine out and what I eat when I'm surrounded by amazing people who do not eat like me. And Eli from the Free Melon Society, he will be making an appearance, and he is a fruitarian. Many of you guys know him, so that will be awesome. And I can't wait, so let's get started. It is already the afternoon. It's around four o'clock and I've eaten very simple today so far because I wanna have a big appetite tonight. So I'm gonna take you guys along right now and show you guys what I've eaten so far today and make, a, make something quick in the kitchen and we will take you dining out with us. I'm so excited. All right guys, so today has been a bit unusual. I've eaten a little bit different because I wanna really indulge tonight to celebrate my birthday. So it was important to me to eat really simple, clean, something that's gonna digest very easy through the day, and something that has me feeling super high vibe and amazing, because I wanna feel so great on my birthday. So I have been doing a banana island today because I bought this case of bananas the other day, and they're all pretty close to being ready to eat anyway. And when I bought this case of bananas, they looked at me like I was nuts. I don't think anyone's ever bought a case of bananas there before, but you just gotta own it, guys, because do what makes you feel good, even if in this society sometimes they think you're nuts. I feel so good. And so I have eaten bananas all day. They are pretty close to being ripe. They're still a bit green on the top, so it's ideal to wait until the green is all gone, but they still have me feeling amazing, and they're great. So I have had about, I would say, probably about 17 bananas today. And I worked out today as well, so May came with me to the gym, right? Yeah. And I did about a 45 minute workout and I feel fantastic. So that's all I've had all day. And I am gonna have something else right now that I will show you guys. So let's head into my kitchen. Um, okay guys, so I also, before I started filming with you guys, I just did a mango ice cream video. And I'm gonna be posting that soon, so make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss that and turn on the bell because this is the best ice cream I've ever had. My daughter loves it, everyone loves it. It's no sugar, two ingredients, and so good. And like I said, I've eaten only bananas today. And I did do a banana island cleanse once, like I heard from Freely the Banana Girl, and a lot of people do, like 21 days, 30 days on bananas. I forget how long I lasted, but I think it was about three days. And I can do mono fruit cleanses really well, and I feel really amazing on them. I did a watermelon island for 21 days, I did a grape cleanse for 28 days once, and that was a really deep cleanse. And I find these cleanses really spiritual. But for some reason, I cannot do bananas for a long time at all. I don't know what it is, but my, my body just reaches a point where it's like, do not give me one more freaking banana. And that is where I'm at today. So I really give props to people like Freely who can do these long-term banana cleanses because my body doesn't want one more banana today. And I really feel like some greens and some grounding because I feel a bit like revved up from the bananas, which is great. I love the energy, but I feel like I need a bit of grounding. So I just feel like the fruits really raise us up, give us that like, just raise us up and the greens really ground us. So I want some grounding. I'm gonna show you guys the green juice I'm gonna have. And it is my classic green juice. It is so good and it gets me feeling high vibe. So this green juice is romaine lettuce. And this is all from the farmer's market. I love this time of year when the farmer's markets are on and everything is just in season and fresh and amazing. I have some parsley, which I will add, and it adds a nice flavor and it's super detoxifying. Some celery, some lemon, cucumber, and usually I add zucchini as well, but I am out right now. And with the lemon, so I recently interviewed someone named Harmony. She's so beautiful. She did a super long-term juice fast um, to heal something within her body. She was amazing. And a great tip, she said, was to put the lemon in the juicer without peeling it because there's something in it that is um, super mood boosting and super antidepressant. It's just something that just boosts your mood in it. So I noticed since I'm doing that, it helps even more. Not like I need, I don't feel like I need much with my mood anyway. It's pretty good. 
but she said she noticed a huge difference and I'm just all about doing that lately as well. So I'll do about half a uh, unpeeled lemon in the juice as well. So I will cut that. I'm so excited to take you guys to my party tonight and show you the amazing foods. I can't wait. So let's get this blended. Put that in. And you guys, this technically a slow masticating juicer is better, which I do have. It's just sometimes like days like today when I'm super busy, it's just easier to use like my good old classic Rebel juicer. It's easy to clean, fast to use. And so, I mean, just use whatever juicer is best for you. I just want to say to you guys like before I went raw I've said it on my channel before but I had so many health problems I had hypoglycemia so major blood sugar issues and it would send me to the hospital many times and now I eat a very high fruit diet and my blood sugars are perfect I had them tested and I never have like any problems I feel with that I had so many panic attacks depression anxiety skin problems digestive problems so many things you guys and going raw like literally just everything naturally healed on its own and I am almost at six years fully raw I'm so excited so I'm gonna make a video for you guys too about that everything I've learned in the six years and what I do to feel so amazing so make sure again you guys subscribe so you don't miss that and here's my juice. I think like nothing on this earth probably makes me feel better than this green juice. I love it. I would say like green juices and apples are just like so high vibe. Those two things probably make me feel better than anything. So good. So I'm going to enjoy this and then I will turn the camera back on when I'm ready to eat next and when we're heading to the party. All right guys, so we are off to the party. I'm so excited. And somebody actually just told me I look 29 and that's great. And that's because they're all living foods, you guys. I swear, if you saw me when I was in my 20s, when I was 26, I looked older than I look now, yeah. right May? Mm -hmm. Yeah. May wasn't around then, but she's seen video of me back then. And you guys, I just want to say like, just because you eat a lifestyle that is so different that like this, the raw vegan lifestyle, doesn't mean you have to sacrifice socializing, getting dressed up, going out, because I used to love those things before going raw, and I still do, so we still do it. All right guys, another thing, I was thinking about having some raw cacao. I'm just driving, so I'm not gonna look at you guys too much, but I was thinking about having some raw cacao today because it's my birthday, and I would love to know your guys' thoughts on raw cacao. I have some pretty strong opinions on it, and maybe people won't like to hear what I have to say on it in an upcoming video with Paul Nissan, so stay tuned for that, it's so good. But I do like to eat it on occasion, like once a year, if I'm celebrating or going to a party or something like that. So I might have it, and this is my favorite kind ever. This is not a sponsor or anything, but this is Giddy Yo-Yo. It does have sugar in it, raw cacao. I used to eat these like back in the day. They're so good, so I might treat myself to that. And I have so many amazing raw vegan desserts that I will show you guys as well, I'm so excited. They're so cute, yay! <laughs> so okay, so we are at this beautiful spot on the water. How gorgeous is Toronto, you guys? Shout out to Mimico Cruising Club. We come here a lot and absolutely love it. And they were so amazing because I said I wanted to have, host my birthday party here. And because it was a group of 25 to 30 people and they know I'm raw vegan, they said I could bring my own food, which was awesome. So that's a tip for you guys. If you're going out and it's a larger crowd, then don't be afraid to say like, I have a different lifestyle. Can I bring my own stuff? And everybody else wants to order off the menu because it works perfect for everyone and it's so great. And if I were to be coming here and just ordering off the menu, what I would get would be a really large raw vegan salad and I would just ask them to put everything in it, load it up with all the veggies and then I would either bring a dressing or just do some olive oil and lemon. All right guys, so I'm not gonna eat this yet. I'm still waiting for everybody to get here and Eli's coming. I'm not sure if he's gonna break his fruit only diet today and maybe eat some of the raw foods I brought but this is a raw cashew and beet ravioli. It is so freaking good.
Okay guys, so I am gonna indulge and have a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of giddy yo-yo, which I was showing you is my favorite. I'm really excited because I barely ever eat it. And I wanted to say to you guys, thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers. I actually hit it today, the day of my birthday party. So I'm so excited. I love each and every one of you guys so much. And I love interacting with you guys in the comments down below. And thank you so much for all the birthday messages you guys wrote on my channel. I read every single one of them and I truly love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. This is so good. So this is, I think this was the traditional chocolate flavor, not the mint, but it's so good. Really good. You want a piece? Yeah, it's really good. I'm so excited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, look who's here at the birthday party. How you doing guys? Oh my god, what a beautiful venue. Beautiful, beautiful venue. Yeah, you made so nice, choice. right? Yeah. And you guys know Eli, he's a fruitarian, so he eats mainly only fruit, right? Um, there was an apple tree just like yeah, in the parking lot. So are you going to indulge tonight at the birthday party? When I, you go out socially like this, do you indulge or do you stick to the fruit? Usually, usually I don't. Today I will. For me, Today guys. I will, yes. For me. Today I'm having raw gourmet vegan food. Oh. It's going to be awesome. So we'll get a reaction. You know, happy birthday. Happy Thank birthday, you. Jill. Because Eli doesn't usually eat this way, so usually. we'll get a reaction when he takes his first bite, you guys. Usually not. Usually not. But today's an exception. <laughs> I thought Eli was kidding about the apple trees that he found on the property, but look what these fruitarians. They just find food <laughs> Come anywhere. to me. Come to me. for Yeah, it's, as soon as I parked, I got out of the car, literally, and my... Oh, apple tree. And yeah, boom, Des right there. Destined to be a fruitarian, <laughs> and there's no excuses, guys, because look at this. But you know, you guys never see Eli eat anything but fruit, right? But yeah. he is going to have a cheat day. And look at these amazing kale chips I got. These are so good, you guys. These are a cheesy red pepper kale chip. These are from my favorite place, Rot Ora. And he let's see his reaction right now. <laughs> so, yes. First time trying kale chips. Never tried these before. No, you've never had kale chips at all? I've never had kale chips ever in my life. Whoa. So this will be the first. Yeah, this so will these are be the first. cheesy red pepper okay. and these are sour cream and onion. Okay. Cheesy red pepper. Let's try this. Oh wow. This is really good. For you. These are so good. Even my daughter, Ooh. she's nine. She's Holy crap. Yeah. Oh my god. These are so good. Can I try another one? Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> my daughter. She, right, my kids aren't raw vegan, everybody knows that, but she even loves these. They're so good. <laughs> Look out, guys. He's going to be back on everything after today. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. And, and of course, if you're going to, or if I'm going to make a departure from what I normally eat, yeah, it's going to be raw vegan stuff. So, it's your birthday. It's going to be a fun day. It's beautiful out. I'm sweating buckets. It's warm as hell out here. It's gonna be a good day. So it you know is what? Hot. Yeah, yeah. But I'm excited. I'm excited to yeah. you know to have dinner and just enjoy the day with you. Have you ever had a kale chip before? No, never. These are kale chips instead of traditional mm -hmm. chips. This is a cashew red pepper and this is a sour cream and onion. So it should be. It's so good. Good, right? I know. And be honest. If you don't like them, this channel no, is all about being honest. Where did you get these? Good. You Raw aura. You like them? It's really good. Trash in there. I'll eat her kale chip. It's so cute. Mm. This is spicy? Mm. This is spicy one, right? Yeah. Mm. So this is one of the main courses for the raw that Eli and I are going to eat. And this is a raw falafel wrap. It has uh, raw vegan tzatziki in it and some walnut meat and it is absolutely delicious. And we also have, this is a raw vegan pad thai that I still have to mix together. And then our guests are also ordering up the menu. And here we have some raw vegan pizza and some of the cashew beet ravioli. Yeah, Let's do a taste test with Eli because I just think it would be great. Yeah. No, you no want problem. to try some food? So we have raw vegan pizza okay. and the cashew and beet ravioli. Okay. And then we have the falafel. And then the falafel. I guess I'm going to try the pizza. Look how good this looks. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, yeah, Jill, that's really good. Good, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, um, how do I say this? Dense. Like, really, really dense. Pretty yeah. thick, but, um, 
Oh wow, yeah, that's really nice. Oh my God, I wish you guys could try this right now. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna feel tomorrow, waking up in the morning, because usually if I make some sort of departure from what I normally eat, I feel really weighed down and slow. And I'm anticipating that that's gonna be the case again, but um, you know what? I don't care right now. Okay, we're just gonna try this. This is so good. If you're in the Toronto area and you're looking to go raw vegan, Raw oil is definitely gonna help you out. It's an amazing place. Like this food is so so tasty. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's it's re that's really good. Okay, guys. So I introduced you to my husband Ed, and so I would like to ask you to let everyone know what differences did you see in me from before I was raw vegan to being raw vegan. High energy level, I guess, and. Uh, you know, positivity, I guess. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's more high vibe, you know? Uh huh, yeah. yeah. Way more high vibe, right? Right, right. I would say I was pretty low vibe before. Not all yeah, the time, but. No, but it was. We had a lot of fun, but, you know. There was a lot of booze involved. Right? <laughs> there was a lot of booze, guys. I drank every night. Ever, in 2009, we had our own HGTV show where we bought a house and each room was an episode. And that's when I started drinking every night. We started, that's when it started. Every night, bottle of wine at least every night. Well, I just want to say too, since we've had a long relationship and I've had some changes with the raw foods, we make it work having different lifestyles, right? And you definitely support my lifestyle, like big time. Sure, so that's yeah. nice, so thanks. Yeah, for sure. Love you. Me. Thanks. Guys, look what one of my friends got me. I don't know if I am like way behind the times or what. I've never seen these before. But how, you guys are probably like, come on. But this is so nice for sitting on my laptop in bed. That's so great, eh? Yeah. I love it. I say A a lot. I don't know if there's any Canadians out there. Say something in the comments below. Love you guys. And I love my friends so much. And see, it's so nice to dine out with everyone who doesn't necessarily eat like me and just enjoy it. I love it. Okay, so May's my daughter. You guys know she's not raw vegan. I want to ask you, what do you think about how I eat compared to like, do you see any differences in how I eat compared to maybe how some other people eat? Do you think raw vegan is good based on how you see me eat? Yeah. Yeah? What do yeah. you think it does to mommy? It makes you happier. There you go, right? <laughs> Kids don't lie. But when you're raw vegan and your daughter isn't, it makes her more want to not go raw vegan. And when you eat junk food, it makes her want to eat more raw. <laughs> <laughs> it's harder for me to keep May raw. I think because my diet's so extreme, it's harder for me to keep May raw. And then like her amazing friends will come over, like Lincoln and Amira and Emily. And I noticed with like Lincoln, like I think you're free to eat whatever you want, right? Yeah. And then when she comes over, she wants to eat all the fruits and veggies. So it's, I think like freedom is good with kids too. I know I get it, like you don't want them to eat the crap, but I think like not restricting too, right? All right, so before we indulge in the birthday cake, here is some of the other desserts I got, courtesy of Raw Aura. So these are raw avocado and a raw banana chocolate, avocado chocolate and banana chocolate cake, and then some coconut balls, and then some uh, chocolate almond butter cups as well. So it's gonna be delicious. And then everyone has kind of been enjoying the raw foods. All my non-raw vegan and non-vegan friends have been trying all the raw stuff and they love everything too. They're like, this is so delicious and they've been ordering off the menu, so it's just been working well with everybody. Okay. Happy birthday to you. It is a key lime cake. Heck, but I just want to try a little bite. So good. Yeah, I'll give you water. Delicious. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys loved it. I loved having you guys along with me for my 40th birthday. And I look forward to growing the channel more with you guys. I love you so much. Comment down below if you love this video. Give it a big thumbs up right now. And make sure you subscribe to see more amazing videos like this one and so many amazing interviews. Peace out. Bye, guys.